a low swell back in this time. I have a nice level to repair, an Acer laptop. Huh? Acer is a nice laptop. Can be if it's easy to be fixed. Acer Aspire. And the job is coming from a computer shop. And we have a, we have a, a proper description of the fault. Uh, the laptop doesn't turn on. But anyway, we have we have no screw here. No screw here, here, here. It's okay, let's plug a charger. I mean, that's all what we have to know. Doesn't turn on. Yeah. That's, that should be enough. Yeah. Let's see, maybe we can make a customer happy. Hmm? When I was younger, I'm making ladies happy, but now... We are making customer happy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Plug in the charger. Wait one second. Wait, I seen a lot of current there. Let me lower the current. A current limit. Yeah, it is charging. Yeah, it was uh, um, low current on the power supply. So we have 1.8 amps. 1.9 amps. We have the charging light. Pressing the power button and nothing happened. Like nothing. I mean, it should come on, right? We should see the light there. Pressing the power button, nothing happened. Okay. Let's open the laptop quickly and let's have a look. I mean, I'm not that old, but... I'm old enough to realize the most expensive thing in this world is the time. I think I realized this probably like uh, probably like ten years ago. Yeah. You can't buy time. You can buy anything, but not time. Okay, and the laptop, it's open. Yeah, that's a nice motherboard, classic one. I remember I fixed one with a blow up chip here. You remember? Yeah. So what can be wrong here? What can be wrong here? We have a switch there, check that. What happened if we are pressing this? Actually, let's disconnect the battery because I did found laptops. They have a BIOS reset uh, button. But they didn't get reset, so I have to unplug the battery, actually. BIOS battery. Let's unplug the BIOS battery. Short in the BIOS battery. It's not really point, but yeah. Plugging back the BIOS battery. Good. Plugging back the main battery. Actually, no, we don't need the main battery. Because we want to see, and the laptop is coming on. 700 milliamps. Frozen BIOS? Frozen is it cheap actually? No. No. If you if you have to choose, like you see in this job, and uh, you have to put a diagnostic, if you ask me the diagnostic, I will say faulty keyboard. I will not say frozen is it cheap. No. No, I believe the, the keyboard is dead. The laptop is restarting, does mean everything is fine. We are waiting for a picture. Now I'll say faulty keyboard. Yeah, we have the blue light here. You can see the blue light? Yeah, the laptop is on. Let's wait for the picture. I mean, no one opened this before. Yeah, check that. So we have picture. And if we are pressing the power button, nothing happened. Huh? No, nah, nothing. Press an enter. Enter is working. Yeah, I have to edit the video because it's a name there. Let me shut down the laptop. So the laptop is shutting down. So what you will do in this case? Hmm? Another keyboard, right? Yeah, that sucks. Not because, you know, only you have to replace it. It's a lot of work to replace the keyboard. This is with a riveted keyboard. 
That's how it's called. But you are not making that much money by replacing the keyboard. Pressing the power button. No, it's not coming. Go and check that. No. No. Power button press, nothing happened. No one opened this. I can see this sticker probably it's from the factory. But I'm gonna try. How the laptop start? Uh, when you reset the BIOS, usually the laptops are starting. Depends. I mean, depends, yeah. Pressing the power button. It's working. No way. So it was actually, it was the keyboard was not plugged in properly? Because I seen the, the line, you can see that this line with the board line was a little bit uh, on the back. Ha! Can't believe. Who said Easy Pizza? Hmm? Yeah, working fine. I'm plugging the charger and, it, uh, and it's switching off. Let's plug the battery. Plug in the battery. Now we have charging. Good. Pressing the power button. Working fine. Huh? Ha. This was a hard repair. I mean, how can I, how I can be that lucky? Hmm? Probably I done something today. Good deeds. Yeah, yeah, that's the secret. Good deeds. Yeah, working fine, charging fine, no problem. Touchpad, keyboard, yeah. Yeah, I can type, yeah, everything is fine. Hmm? What do you think about that? Yeah. You know, I wish I can say luck, but this is just pure skill, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, probably the people think, yeah, that's so in. That's why he fixed the laptop. He's good. He's good. <laughs> uh, yeah, you see, you are getting older and the skill comes, yeah? When I was young, the people said, nah, nah, yeah, probably you was lucky, but now, getting older... No, you're good. You're good. Okay, so the idea is, um, you see, the laptop is charging fine, yeah? Trying to be serious now. Uh, charging fine means the main power is present, the 3.3 is present, the EC chip is up and running, yeah? Uh, usually if the EC chip is up and running, let me charging, um, you check the keyboard. I mean, that's the next logical step. If, uh, let's say, you see, you see, and I plug the, unplug the battery, and I said, I'm not going to plug the battery, I want to see the power supply. So pressing on the power button and nothing happened. And, you know, you have to think, why the ECGP is not reading the power button? It's not reading the power button because the power button is not present. In this case, the cable was uh, slightly out. But, um, yeah, that's what you should check first before uh, assuming, you know, okay, the ECGP is dead and it's not really in the power button. Yeah, if you press the power button, you see and like any current on the power supply, yeah, that's mean the power button, it is doing the job. But otherwise, I will uh, just go straight to the power button. So, uh, I'm happy I helped the customer. Like I said on the beginning, we made another customer happy. So I'm going to stop here. I will say uh, thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button. And you can get instantly access to our uh, members only cool collection and uh, discord private channels for support with your repairs also you can have a look on our uh, united kingdom uh, ebay where you can find some cool and unique products united states ebay store or our patreon page thank you